I heard a story that when Car 54 was on the air, I think it was yeah, I was sponsored by Procter and Gamble. So the the heads of Procter and Gamble <laughs> visited the set. Jackie he obviously knows. I think I might have yeah. told it. So uh, Procter and Gamble, the big heads of the company, and their wives visit the set, and they're introducing them to Fred Gwynn and Al Lewis, and you know they're being very polite, you know, saying how shaking their hands and having their picture taken with them, and they pass by Joey Ross's. <laughs> dressing room, the door's open and he's on the couch jerking off. It's a different one. It's a different Joey and, Ross story. And the, the execs and the wife, the wife started screaming and Joey Ross is there with a stick still in his hands going, what, what, what is it? Ooh, ooh. The one Rodney ooh, told ooh. me was, it was that the show became got got renewed, so they had a huge party with the Procter and Gamble guys and their wives. It's a huge party, and Fred Gwynn's there with his wife, and Al Lewis is there with his wife. <laughs> Joey Ross is there with a whore. <laughs> and they come over and say hello. And Fred Gwynn says, "Yes, this is my life, wife, Alberta." You know, and then and and, and, he, and this is Joey. He goes, "Hi, hi," and they say, "This is Mrs. Smith. This is Mrs. Johnson." And who's that? <laughs> What's your name, honey? <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. He famously had a thing for hookers, oh, Joey, God, Joey Ross. Oh, God. Yeah. You know, just went on and on. He walked in out of the sea, you know? Oh, God. That's a great Rodney. Uh, not really. <laughs>